What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back to another brand new Inform Play Review on FIFA 17 and today we are going to be looking at the first Inform Ivan Perisic, the Inter Milan and Croatia superstar. So if you do enjoy this play review, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on the video. I always hugely appreciate it. If we get us over 35 likes, that would be incredible. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time around these pots. We're going to kick things off as we always do with the basic information and for Perisic we're looking at 6 foot 1 in height, high to medium work rates, 4 star skill moves and once again I said it for the Ben Yedder review yesterday that beloved, beloved 5 star weak foot. Looking at his base card in top 5 in games he's an 85 rated left midfielder, we played him at left wing, his base card's got 86 pace, 85 dribbling 86 shooting, 82 passing, 81 physical and 48 defending. So very, very well rounded and he also comes in the top 5 in-game stats department with 90 shot power, 90 stamina, 89 heading accuracy, 89 positioning and 88 sprint speed. And the only trait and speciality he comes with actually is the speed dribbling one which is uh, kind of surprising. The team that we used him in is on screen now, it's exactly the same team that we used for Ben Yedder. The review for that went up yesterday so check that out if you didn't see it yesterday and in the 5 games that we played with Perisic in this team, he came away with four goals and no assists, which, bearing in mind we were using the Ben Yedder quarter lot for the goals, wasn't too shabby whatsoever. And as we start to get into some of the clips off him in action now, him and Ben Yedder, I'm going to talk about Ben Yedder quarter lot because he was also in this team, were very similar in a lot more areas than I expected because both of them have got the five-star weak foot, which is absolutely sensational, and both of them are very, very difficult to get off the ball for different reasons. For Ben Yedder, I did say it was because of his balance, for uh, Perisic, it's just raw power. He's got, I think, 82 strength in his in-game stats, and he just feels very, very strong on the ball. I always feel like when you've got someone that's tall and they've got a bit of pace, that is often the case. And he's just a very, very strong, well-rounded midfielder. That five-star weak foot, four-star skill move set also just makes him, as I've already mentioned, absolutely incredible. And the only two negatives that I really found with him were, firstly, his acceleration, which wasn't bad, but could have done with being a little bit better because once you have got up to, tall, up to top speed, he's like a train and very difficult to get hold of. You do tend to find, or I found, that um, if he was going to be stopped, it was usually within those first few yards. And the second thing that wasn't fantastic was his finishing with finesse shots. I definitely had a lot more success with the power shots. He has got a nice shot pair, so you could say that kind of is obvious. But yeah, I found, avoid the finesse shot and just go for the absolute ripper with Perisic and you'll find yourself in a very good spot. But overall... We're going to be giving him an 8.6 of 10, like I say, a very well-rounded card. Love the fact, he's got, the fact that he's got the fast star weak foot and he feels very, very powerful, very difficult to get at the ball. But he's finesse finishing and his acceleration, I'm letting down a little bit. But still, for the coins that this guy's going for, as I record this, he's going for around 80k. But that, it could drop a little bit. It could go up a little bit. It's very difficult to read right now as we are in the middle of team of the year. But uh, for less than 100k, I think this is a stellar, stellar card. And I'd definitely recommend picking him up. But um, if you did enjoy this, you realise... Like I said at the very beginning, leave a massive thumbs up on it, always hugely appreciated, and I will catch you all in the next video, which is going to be on Saturday. That should be an episode of The Road to Glory. I'll see you all there. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, lads. Nidge out. Yo, his Nidge plays with big games, and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates. His video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids. Uploading off, and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching Vince, and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like.